application team. And what we're going to be covering in this video is, is the variety of ways you can set up a new world uh, in order to make use of Minecraft. So I'm going to go through most of those options in this video. Uh, exporting and importing worlds, which is another way to have portable worlds in Minecraft. Uh, we'll save that for the very next video in the series. So if I want to create a new Minecraft world, I'm going to go back to my home screen here. And instead of hitting settings, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Uh, when I get to the play screen, obviously I don't have any worlds created yet. Um, so I'll hit this huge button right here that says create new. And that will give me a bunch of different options. So Education Edition comes with five different world templates that you can start right up and run right now. Uh, the top one is Tutorial Volume 2, which is learning to actually play Minecraft. The Agent Trials is focused on getting familiar with the Agent and with Code Builder for Minecraft Education Edition. Blocks of Grass is our play on a Walt Whitman uh, title for a never-ending grass block world that is really a blank slate for you to build as you like. The Starter Town is a world template that not only has a town square that is built up for you, um, but also has about 30 plots of land where students could build their own homes in their community. And then, frankly, Mushroom Island we included because it's awesome. Uh, Minecraft has biomes. Uh, some of those are related to those on Earth, things like forest and tundra and desert. But there are also very unique Minecraft ones like Mushroom Island, where um, my own children's favorite animal, the Mushroom, decides to live. So feel free to launch into that one as well. Um, what we're going to do instead of launching a template, though, is we're going to launch a brand new random world. And so I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to select Generate Random. And that will bring me to my world screen. In a Minecraft world, uh, the first thing we want to do is name it something unique so we don't forget. Uh, so I'll call it something like Video World. That's fine. Uh, the game mode. So if I click on here, we have two default game modes in Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, one is a survival world uh, where you have health and you have hunger uh, and you probably shouldn't go jump off of cliffs and you need to find food to survive and you need to craft items from natural resources. Creative mode is the other default game mode for Minecraft. And that is a never-ending box of supplies for you. So if you have infinite inventory, um, you also have the ability to fly around the Minecraft world and you don't take any damage or health or hunger. Um, there is also a difficulty setting. Uh, the difficulty setting is really not necessary all that much for most education uh, opportunities. But I would say one way that you can customize this is if you're in... Let me go back into here. If I'm in survival mode, for example, and I'm limiting my resources, Peaceful mode actually will do some regeneration of my health and my hunger. So it's not as important at that point to go and find food and go and make sure you don't jump off of, you know, every short cliff whatsoever. Um, peaceful also prevents um, monsters, hostile mobs from coming out at night in those worlds. So if you did want your students to play in a survival world uh, and you wanted to prevent, as my son would say, bad guys from coming out at night, um, you can feel free to switch it to peaceful. Uh, cheats enable slash commands in Minecraft Education Edition. You pretty much always want to have that on. And then Always Day is a toggle that turns on and off the day and night cycle in Minecraft. So you can decide whether you want it to be daytime, perma-day, all the time, or whether you want a normal day and night cycle. Um, for this world, in this example, I'm going to do creative mode. I'll have cheats on. I'll have Always Day on. The last is world type. Uh, world type infinite is a typical Minecraft world that has terrain generation and things like that. A flat world is very much like the blocks of grass world that you saw earlier. It's, it's never-ending blocks of grass. An old world is a world format that is left over from the olden days, which is why it's called old world. And that provides a limitation in the amount of world that we generate. So you can only go so far in each direction. Um, for this one, I'm going to do an infinite world. Uh, I'll do peaceful, I'll do creative, and I'll go ahead and hit play to launch that world. And there I am in my Minecraft world. You can see I'm in between a few different biomes. If I kind of double tap the space bar to fly up in the air, you can see I have a forest over here. You can see there's some mushrooms. If I turn back the other way I, over here, I have some interesting terrain generation. Minecraft is going to procedurally generate this terrain as I go. Um, it's going to be different each time. There are some ways that you can launch students into a copy of the same world over and over again onto their device, um, but we'll go over that in a later video. Um, but for now, those are the basics in setting up and customizing a random world and launching into it. 